channel. It's your girl Lissy. And today guys, I actually stumbled into the weirdest convention I have ever been to. When I say this is the weirdest convention I've ever been to, just know that I mean it. You guys know I do videos about the strange, the weird, the unusual, but this convention was just a little weirder than usual. Also, warning if you guys are sensitive to any taxidermy or creepy, like gory stuff. I don't know if this is for you. I just want to put that warning out because I know not everybody likes those kind of things and this convention was full of a lot of it. They even had dead people stuff for sale. No joke. Also guys, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because I post new videos every single week and I do some really crazy stuff for you guys. Also smash the like if you guys enjoy when I go out to convention and buy weird stuff because today I went to this Oddities and Curiosities Expo and I bought the weirdest things that I could possibly find. I had seen this convention go around on YouTube and TikTok. In fact, a lot of people on TikTok have made videos about this convention. Help, I accidentally got a goth girlfriend and now she's redecorating my house with really weird stuff. I'm pretty sure everything here is either haunted or cursed. Showcasing and showing the weird oddities and curiosities that they find and filming the weird taxidermy Filming the creepy dolls and all the weird creepy gory stuff that they have. They had funeral items at this convention They had taxidermy all sorts bugs butterflies haunted things Weird weird stuff guys like literally if you could just think about the weirdest thing possible and you put it in one big showroom That was this convention except for it's a little unsettling stuff to look at also I do want to say this is my new room I forgot to tell you guys, I'm filming in a new room today. It's not done yet, but isn't it gorgeous? Look at the gold bed. It's so vintage. Anyways, that's not the point. So while I was walking around this convention, I saw a lot of stuff that I was really tempted to get. All of these have different things in them. Bugs, octopus, there's a beetle. Oh my gosh, insect flowers. The butterflies are so gorgeous though. Oh, the little jackals. <laughs> Louis Vuitton, two-headed gator. You really do not know what you're gonna see at this festival. Is that an emo smoking rat? That's crazy. A bunch of creepy stuff here. You guys know I love creepy dolls. Looks like there's a lot of them. That one looks like it's haunted. It has a little cross on it. Yo, which doll am I gonna bring home today? Dead people stuff for sale? What? You know I love dead people stuff. They have the bartender that I had before and it looks like he works. Oh my gosh, it's a monkey. That one looks super old. That one's really cool. We've made videos about that guy. The clown puppets. Which haunted doll am I gonna bring home today? There's so many options. This painting right here looks so haunted. It's called Flower Child. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel like there's an attachment to it. Just by looking at it, I feel like that might be a haunted painting. And don't even get me started about this guy. Oh my gosh, he blinks. Oh, look at this shrunken head in a jar. That's spooky. Double-headed skeletons. I actually got this guy at the last convention video that I did. That guy is creepy. They have the most gorgeous framed butterflies. Like, look at that. Those would be beautiful for the room that I'm working on. They even have huge ones. I love the frame. Those are huge bugs. Look at the size of that. That's my hand. That's the bug. No freaking way. Puffer gentlemen. Look how prestigious this one looks. Oh my god. I kind of want him. Are those frogs in a jar? Oh my god, what is that? What are those? Oh my goodness. Whoa, look at all these little dolls. That one's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's a killer rabbit. Look at that rabbit. He's so scary. There's so many scary toys here. I have so many to pick from. So I walked around some more and I looked at a bunch of weird, weird stuff, guys. Like, I'm not kidding. They had the most craziest things here I have ever seen in my entire life. But there were so many amazing, talented artists and vendors at this convention. It was kind of hard not to buy any weird thing that I stumbled across. And I'm really, really excited to show you guys what I did end up coming out of the convention with when I get home. Because there was so much weird stuff. It honestly became hard to pick because of how much weird stuff I was seeing. Like, look at how creepy everything is, though. Everything was kind of creepy though that's the one cool part about it like it was like eerie but like in a very fascinating way if you know what i'm saying but i did end up buying a few things at this convention and i'm ready to show you guys my little haul all right this is one of the weirder items that i've got and i have not tried them on yet but behold i got doll head earrings yes that's apparently a thing so these are earrings that are literally just baby doll heads imagine if i wear these out to like the store or the mall just casually with my hair back like what people will think about me i'm sure i'd get some looks from the karens just like why is she wearing doll heads what in the hell's happened to those millennials honestly though it's kind of a good social experiment idea will people be nice to me if i wear these out in public i wonder how 
heavy these are. How could I not? I make videos about haunted dolls, so kind of had to buy the earrings. Would you guys wear these? Comment down below yes or no. Would you wear the creepy doll heads? Imagine wearing these to school. Okay, let's try to put it in. I'm trying to find my ear hole. <laughs> I haven't worn an earring in a while. Let's try this side. I'm struggling to find the hole. That sounds bad. Oh gosh. Wait. <laughs> Is it an iconic look? <laughs> I have to put the other one in. Oh my goodness. Everyone's gonna be just so inspired by my bravery for style. Oh my ear hole. Ow. Oh my gosh. Why is this kind of a vibe? <laughs> It's kind of giving like, I'm spooky and a little crazy, but I know it vibes. Okay, I'm gonna wear these the rest of the video. So rate my weird earrings on a scale of one to 10. What do y'all think? Is it a vibe? Would you wear it? <laughs> All right, speaking of taxidermy, I was not about to leave that convention without getting something very weird. And I could not handle like taxidermy of like something fluffy, to be honest. That's a little too much for me. If you guys are into that, cool. But for me, no thank you. I ended up getting, <laughs> sorry I can't help but laugh, I ended up getting a gentleman puffer fish. Look at how prestigious he looks. He looks like a very prestigious gentleman. A gentle puff. So I don't know what I should name my gentle puff. Comment in the comments down below if you guys have any like name suggestions. He looks like he would have a very fancy and very prestigious name. Maybe I should just name him gentle puff. Mr. Gentle Puff. <laughs> that sounds so fancy. But um, I'm working on a haunted loft upstairs and I'm gonna put him in there with all my other weird oddities and things that I get and he's just gonna be a very nice little gentle puff. I've had a few friends say that this reminds them of the Spongebob mm -hmm. movie and they were very sad to see that I bought a gentle puff so I'm sorry if this offended anybody. I don't think any gentle puffs were hurt in the, the filming of this video. I'm pretty sure they found them washed ashore naturally. Would not recommend killing a puff or fish and gluing eyes on them. Anyways, moving along. So the doll heads were weird but just brace yourself, okay? Look at her! So this is a freaking cup. Yes, I kid you not. This is a cup with a doll head, a creepy doll clown head. It says clown on it. How freaking creepy is this cup? This is the creepiest cup in the freaking world. And now I own it. The tea is hot. <laughs> Imagine if I like go to the gym and I just like grab this cup out and I'm just sipping it and I'm just wearing these earrings. Everyone's gonna be horrified of me, but that's kind of the objective, you know? That's just the goal. I think it's a vibe, okay? I, I like this cup. I think it's very creative. She had spider webs on her face. She has a little spider dangling, you know? How could I not buy this? Like, I needed it, okay? I went to an oddities convention and I'm giving, all right? So I had to get it. You guys are gonna be watching me like drink casually out of this when I tell story time videos now. I'm just gonna be like, so guys, did you guys know? Now for the big one. You guys know I wanted to find the scariest, spookiest thing slash toys. Look at this thing! It's a freaking killer rabbit. It's a cursed toy. I've never seen a toy like this before. He's huge. Look at him. And the best part about him is his eyes actually light up. So I'm going to put them on for you guys and try to make it darker in here. <gasps> oh, look at his eyes. They light up. Okay, I need to turn the actual light of this room off so you guys can see the full effect. Oh my, I'm out of focus. No, focus on me. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to turn the ring light off now. Now we need the fuller effect. Oh my gosh, look how freaking creepy it is. His eyes would be so scary to see in like an actually full pitch black dark room. I'm gonna put this in like my creepy haunted loft and just have it sit there all night and scare the guests that come to my house. So fun. Is this big killer rabbit haunted? Probably not, but um, I'll let you guys know if he has any scary stuff happen with him. But either way, he's cute and um, scary and I love just collecting weird scary things and that was the point of the convention was to find something weird just like this. So I did my deed. <laughs> And then after going on the entire haul at the convention, I ended up stumbling across a museum with freaking taxidermy. And I filmed it for you guys because I wanted you guys to see some of this. So if you guys are uncomfortable by taxidermy or stuff like that, then I don't recommend watching this part of the video. I'm only warning you guys because I know that's a sensitive thing to some people and I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable on this channel. But here it is. And um, I'm gonna talk about one specific part of the video because I thought it was really interesting. So now we're checking out the Freak Show Museum. They have a bunch of clowns stuff in here and oddities. Look at the scary clowns. Whoa, that's a creepy clown head. Those are some very strange multiple legged animals, multiple headed cows. Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at the trash can. It's getting really trippy in here. Two headed black rabbits. 
Oh my goodness, look at all these creatures. Oh my gosh, two-headed goat. <gasps> this one's so cute though, Fluffy. He's kind of cute. Look at this little monkey. He's crazy. So many weird things. That's a huge lion. Oh my gosh. What is that, a mermaid? This is apparently a real life mermaid that washed up on shore and they got the box of it. Can you guys believe that? Mermaids really do exist, guys. Crazy. Okay, so pause right here. They said they had a real mermaid. And um, after that was shown to me in the museum, I was very fascinated about the history of mermaids. You guys know I love talking about stories and weird and creepy things, so I looked it up. So if you guys don't know much about mermaids, let me cover some stuff for you guys. In folklore, a mermaid is an aquatic creature with a head of an upper body of a female human and the tail of a fish. Mermaids appear in folklore of many cultures worldwide including Europe, Asia, and Africa. Mermaids are sometimes associated with perilous events such as floods, storms, shipwrecks, and drownings. The male equivalent of a mermaid is the merman. Although some traditions and signings of mermen are less common, those of mermans they are generally assumed to coexist with their female co-partners. And according to Google, one of the earliest mermaid legends appeared in Syria around 1000 BC. This is when a goddess dove into the lake and took the form of a fish. As the gods would not allow her to give up her great beauty, only her bottom half became a fish, and she kept her top half to stay in human form. So was that a real mermaid that we saw in the taxidermy museum that they are claiming was a real mermaid? Do you guys believe in mermaids? Yes or no? It really had me fascinated because it looked so real. It didn't quite look like a fish. It really did look like a mermaid. And there has been a lot of videos online about mermaid sightings mermaid you know remains being washed ashore just mermaids so it really had me thinking do mermaids really exist i might eventually do a whole deep dive into sightings and mystical creatures such as mermaids you know sea creatures and bigfoot and all that i'm very fascinated with those sort of things so the factor that they had a quote-unquote taxidermy real washed up ashore mermaid is kind of bizarre to me because i never thought i'd be seeing that there so the convention all around had the most weirdest unexplainable things, mermaids, you know, pufferfish gentlemen, doll earrings, like it was super strange. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed me buying the weirdest things I could find for you guys and finding the weirdest toys that I could possibly find. Definitely will have to go to more spooky conventions because I enjoy them. Anyways guys, comment down below what was your favorite thing I bought in today's video and uh, I cannot wait. There are so many fun things coming up. I just want to spoil this for you guys. I just moved so I've been working on a lot of cool stuff for you guys and I cannot wait to show you guys my new house and release a full house tour and show you guys the spooky loft that I'm making for filming videos for you guys. So stay tuned. You guys don't want to miss out on that. Be sure you subscribe so you guys don't miss out on that. I love you guys. Thank you all so, so much for the support. It seriously means the world to me and I'll see all of you lovely people in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.